So let's talk about the current sensor cabling, one of the major focuses of this webinar. So some issues that you have, whether it be unshielded measurement cables or shielded measurement cables. First, with unshielded measurement cables, you're subject to electrical noise, obviously. There's high frequency inverters, pulse width modulated voltages, and that's just going to enter into your cable. Basically, you're going to have noisy measurements. Even with a shielded measurement cable, which carry currents, the center conductor has current. However, also the outer shield has current. So your current sensors will be measuring the sum of the center conductor of the cable and the outer shield together. So the problem here is that how do you measure the current in a shielded cable and avoid from having to measure both of these currents? So here is a theoretical solution. So what you do is you route the shield around the sensor, ideally in a metal enclosure like you see here. This way only the center conductor is measured and the noise is still suppressed by the shield because you're still using the shield on the cable outside of the metal enclosure. So the sensors ideally should be in an EMC cabinet and the cabinet should be grounded as well as the CT. And we'll talk a little bit more about that in a moment. And ideally you'd like to have the cables run straight through the sensor or the, the CT. Here we see a practical solution where the DC and AC signals are measured separately. And they're installed separately in their own separate metal enclosure. So you have the, for example, the DC signal on the left for current, and then on the right, a separate metal enclosure with the AC signals on the right. 